It is the 17th of June 2014 and it is the 6th development day for Glowbreaker. This is actually, it is the 17th but this is for the 16th of June 2014. This development vlog is doing it just after midnight in the UK. So this is the 6th development vlog and Thora had some success today and Thora didn't do it, didn't do any work for a few days. But the place that didn't have success it is where I wasn't having success before in terms of stopping the balls from losing momentum when they're colliding with each other, aka okay, when dynamic objects are colliding. They find out a lot more from what I can gather. Um, they're not exactly losing momentum, they're just transferring momentum. So let's put some arbitrary values to it. If two balls collide, one has a force of 80, one has a force of 20, so a total force of 100. There's still a total force of 100 after the glide, it's just one might be 40, one might be 60, one might be 99, one might be 1. But again, that doesn't really help uh, at the moment simply because I, want no, I don't want the ball to slow down at all unless I specifically set the velocity, change the velocity. So if you do have any suggestions, please help. Even if it is literally modifying the chipmunk library itself or the physics library, I've had a lot myself to try and do that. So it did help, but it really, basically no. <laughs> uh, it like worked for about five seconds, but it didn't work then. So yeah, that was annoying. But one thing, though, for our mother, move on. And let's put that uh, on hold temporarily, simply because I'm not getting anywhere with it. I just implemented the collision detection, so you can actually detect what has collided with that. But what this is mainly useful for, especially in Glowbreaker, when the ball hits a brick, so I can destroy a brick. Um, so I just checked if the ball hits a paddle, and it always a ball hits a wall, and I've just abstracted the definitions into separate files. Now, so we get the scene definition, which was already there before, and I added collision definitions for the different collision bit masks. At the moment, just using wall, which will probably be removed, and paddle, and obviously the ball. The brick collisions haven't been implemented, but they will be I say pretty straightforward now I've got it all working. This is going to be abstracted, or the code inside is going to be abstracted into a collision manager, which I'll probably be doing later on today or maybe tomorrow on Wednesday. And basically with the collision manager, what I envision it to be is this guest called here, and the collision manager, once it's all been constructed in the init method here, now I can just say, check collision for example and I can pass in this physics contact variable and that can do all this check here and from that there'll probably be another function that is called so instead of doing this blah 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 or blah 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 every single time the other function will literally just take paddle collision and the ball collision bit mask or the two collision bit masks, it doesn't matter what order you put them in and you do both to the check lower A or, or, or B is a certain one. I might just implement that directly into the first collision check function and so I would just do here, see there's a bit of pseudocode, I would basically do if, I don't know, check collision Let's do paddle collision bit mass, ball collision bit, bit mass equals true, then do something. So you'll look something like that instead of looking pretty horrible like that. And then obviously from this I can do stuff accordingly. So maybe I want to call another function from maybe a ball class, from a brick class, paddle class maybe. But that's what I plan on doing abstracting it into a collision money so because this game I don't want this scene to be too big because at the moment we've got, we've got the paddle implemented but that will be abstracted we've got the balls, ball implemented that will be abstracted probably the edge box is one of the main physics bodies that will just remain here because it's simple and we're not doing anything really afterwards so I'll probably just leave that there but everything else will be abstracted so it's just a lot cleaner so yeah, that's it really for this development vlog. In the next development day, whenever that is, whether they later today or tomorrow on the 18th of June, we'll just be abstracting and hopefully trying to fix the momentum loss when the balls are colliding. 
if you have any solution for that please let me know I really need some help well thank you for watching if you have any questions about this or anything in general feel free, free to message us or support us on system.co.uk the email is in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube and I hope you have a nice day